you. Hello, thank you for joining us for Happy Hour. Uh, we're really excited today to have local artist Jeff Hall be with us. He'll be doing a bit of a show and tell. Jeff, are you with us? Hold on one second here. Wonderful, thanks Jeff for joining us. I'm so excited. Happy Hour. Yes, you have to enjoy a little bit here. That's right. Hmm. Take a look. I understand that you wanted to do a little bit of show and tell for us. So if you could, can you just start off and explain a little bit about your art to us? Sure. Um, I guess I should start off saying that I, after going to art school, I spent 27 years in commercial printing. So photography and reproduction um, methods sort of are come natural to me and I, I love recycled repurposed materials. So I use everything from styrofoam, reused newspaper, cardboard, uh, mat board, any of those things. And currently I am playing with some um, steel, which has aged. Nice, um, look at I that. Some, uh, with some um, porcelain clay slip, let it dry and then added some acrylic polymer, which is the binder of acrylic paints for anybody that doesn't know that. Let this sit in the barn for three years <laughs> to give a little patina, because well, I yeah. about patina and aging, so things go in process. And then uh, just kind of started painting back into it. Um, a couple people I showed it to said it looked like a map, so of course then I started changing things around a little, but yeah. you know, I paint sort of land escapes, so I create my own images from photographs that I take, things that come out of my mind, my drawings, my paintings. So I do digital and traditional mixed media work. So, um, you know, it, it can be, uh, it can be landscape-ish, but it can also change. I love playing with how light reflects, refracts. Yes. Off of surfaces, that's kind of my thing right now. You know, well, I, <laughs> I remember you saying that you want the viewer of your art to see their own experience in your artwork. There's no right or wrong. You just want, it's a, just a difference of opinion. That I remember you saying something to that effect. And you know, that still holds true. I um, worked pre-Photoshop and Photoshop. So I did everything traditionally when I was working in printing and Photoshop, everything's planned out and perfect. And you know what? I, I love doing that. I loved recreating images um, and making them better. Same thing with my drawing and painting. And now a precise image really isn't that important to me. Right. You know, back to that at some time, but now I really like to be free flow. And like you said, let the viewer figure out what it means to them. And everybody has a different opinion. I love that. Yeah. I think it has a way of, us somewhere we've never been before if it's really um, doing its job. Now a little bit of history with you Jeff. Um, if I remember correctly your first gallery showing was in 2009 in the Pearl District. Yes. That's yeah. so that's great and I remember you meeting you early on and you would love to pick things up collect it dumpster dive if I could say that. Yeah. <laughs> and repurpose and your what really um what you conveyed to me is that it was art was a creative process is what you used to say um and you would how you respond to the material and at hand and solving the problem is what really got your juices going that's that's my early days of remembering meeting you from what i remember yes i think making art is a conversation you put something down and then you respond to it. Yeah. yeah. It's, and the hardest thing to do is put something down, walk away, let it dry, and come back. So I usually work on multiple pieces. So I have a piece that I haven't started yet. It's got a little dust on it. So um, this will be next after the piece I'm working on now. I may start it today or tomorrow. Um, but my love of dumpster diving led me to uh, walk back here for a second to using materials like styrofoam. So, um, wow. with 
with texture. I am a texture freak, I will admit it. And um, I had some walnut shells laying around. Why would you use this in artwork? Well, because, you know, we're artists, we pick weird things. Why not? Um, I've been doing a series of paintings about trees, and I love this black walnut tree that's out on Porter Road. I did a series of 10 or 12 different pieces so far on that. And so I collected walnut shells and added them into this next series that I was working on. And I call it about portals. And so portals are taking you to a different place. So um, I also combined my love of uh, printed material. So I created this image and then had it printed on dye bond aluminum. Oh and then, God. yeah, so it's a process. So I've used clay, I've used all sorts of materials in this. And um, anyway, that's a, a another series that I have had fun making. So next up is, this is in progress. It's at the very beginning. Bring it a little closer, yeah. I can just show you how I look. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love how your art, you don't stick to one thing. You love dimension, texture, depth. Um, it, it really, it, it's so creative. And I love how your emotions just flow from one thing to the next. So the, the whole wow. thing, um, finding reflections. So for me, it's really important that the viewer you know, your light changes in your home during the day and you get to see those subtle changes. So art isn't just a one-off, oh, that's an apple or oh, that's just an object, which there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, it tends to go a little deeper. That's kind of how I roll. I, um, I like working small, I like working large. Um, this is sort of in the middle and just wanted to show you how the light hit this piece so depending on warmer cool colors it changes that's really beautiful thank you so the piece that you're currently working on that you said um what's the substrate it's on so it's on um anodized steel wow and then you just paint on top of it and let it dry and build up layers so what i did for this piece was i put some um clay slip this just happened to be porcelain clay and i let it dry in the sun and it cracked and did all these wonderful things you can do use some man-made materials to do that now you can buy some crackle stuff from golden and do that but i like the organic feel of it and clay slips left over everywhere so clay slip when it's hard is a big chunky thing like this so you have to let it soak in water for a day or two and then um steal somebody who's probably a good cook's hand blender when they're not paying attention <laughs> i use one at a garage sale and it's probably it. safer <laughs> probably would after using that but mm. so let that dry and then um, i paint uh acrylic polymer over the top to hold everything down it sticks just fine it's been like i said it was in the barn and lasted for a couple of three years and um I didn't really pay attention. I wasn't trying to make something when I put this down. I just sort of, sure. and then I respond to what happens, which is kind of fun. So I set myself up in chaos and then I try to bring order. I love it. I love it. So we won't, don't want to take too much of your time, Jeff, but tell us just a little bit um, about like, how do you, where do these inspirations, you just start and it just kind of creates itself here? Usually it starts with a walk in nature. So that whole man versus nature thing, I really enjoy walking in the woods and, and seeing what's going on around me. But then it comes up of uh, the things that we build. So we build multiples. Well, nature builds multiples and they usually, and nature does it better than man mostly. And so I like the juxtaposition, juxtaposition, not enough coffee or too much, of, uh, of those together to see what happens, playing with the formal, things of line, shape, texture, color, pattern, all those things just are really interesting to me, you know, that's. I think it's great. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for spending the time with us today for our happy hour. And awesome. I, 
I will list um, at this video for the viewers a list of all the contact information and how they can reach you um, to ask you questions, further the conversations, purchase art, and find you online. So um, thank you, Jeff, for being here with us, and we look forward to uh, uh, meeting again in person very soon. Thank you so much for stopping by our happy hour. We hope that you enjoyed uh, the show and tell as much as we did and getting to know Jeff Hall. Um, following this will be a few little bloopers, as well as all the information that you two can contact Jeff. And if you know of anybody else that would like to be a guest on our happy hour segments, please reach out to info at aframerstouch.com or any one of our social media sites. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for stopping by. Good morning. Oh, shit. It's not morning. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, I just drink in the morning. <laughs>